this is regarding the many books which were written against Islam, which led to the belief that uh, a lot of people worldwide that our religion was wrong, the Quran was wrong, and our prophets were wrong. Among these people who believed in it, there were a lot of Christians who believe in the Bible too. And the Bible and the Quran have nearly the same prophets. We have Jesus Christ too, we have Moses too. So why today is the term terrorist used only in respect to Muslims? Now, Sirza has a good question that when Quran and Bible there are so many similarities, so why is this word specifically used in terms with Muslims? As I told my talk sister, this word fundamentalism initially was coined to describe a group of Christians in America in the early part of the 20th century when they objected to the church. So this word was coined for the Christians initially. The first time it was used in English language. It was coined to describe the Christians. But today, as I told you, they have turned the tables over. So now they use it more to describe Muslims. Why it is the case regarding similarities, I have given the talk sister, similarities between Islam and Christianity. Where I have described that there are various similarities between Islam and Christianity in the Quran and the Bible. So at least we as human beings, let us agree to follow these similarities. The differences you can talk later. But the reason that they are doing this, as I told you, because Islam today is the fastest growing religion in the world, the people may be fearing that if Islam goes, maybe what they call as pleasure, they may have to give it up.